Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, this morning I was scrolling through the self-hosted subreddit and came across something that I wanted to share with you guys today. What we're gonna take a look at is something called Snippet Box. And basically, like it says on their GitHub page, Snippet Box is a simple self-hosted app for organizing your code snippets. It allows you to easily create, edit, browse, and manage your snippets in various languages. Now, here's the thing, right? You could obviously, if you wanted to, you could just use Bookstack for this, but uh, I, I feel like sometimes we become too reliant on one Docker container to do too many things. And so sometimes I like to split things up. In fact, this is why I quit using Nextcloud. I was becoming too dependent on it for too many things. And when it crashed and I couldn't recover it, uh, I lost a ton of stuff and it was, it was a bad time. So uh, this is why I kind of, I still split some things out and have different containers for different purposes. Also, just a little side note here. Um, I am currently on Pop! OS as my desktop operating system. Uh, I've had it installed for a while. I've been dual booting uh, Pop! OS and Windows 10, and then kind of just fell back into old habits of using Windows 10, and then I upgraded to Windows 11, and uh, Windows 11 still has a little bit of growing to do. Um, so I've just decided to switch over to Pop! OS for a while, and then I remembered why I kept going back to Windows 10 was because Elgato, Elgato doesn't have a driver for their capture cards for Linux. I don't understand why. Uh, so I may have to just get a different uh, setup for, uh, for, for this for Linux. Anyway, deal with that later. But let's jump back over and take a look at how easy it is to get snippet box installed in Docker. I guess before we do that, let me let me show you what uh, what snippet box is and how it works. So here we are. Uh, I've already got this deployed. We'll go back and take a look at deploying it here in just a moment. But um, so here we've got uh, snippet box up and running. And uh, up here at the top left, you've got three options: home, snippets, and editor. There is no login for this. They just you 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 deploy the container and you're in. Done. Easy. To, easy. 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 So. So here we are, we, when, you, when you're first here, it's actually gonna look like this. It's gonna say, you don't have any snippets. Uh, go to the editor and create one. So we'll go over here and we're just going to type in, uh, let's just type a snippet box. And, and then we'll come down to here, uh, snippet box demo. And the language we'll say, uh, we'll just say uh, Docker compose. And uh, then you can add tags if you wanna do that. We'll just say uh, code snippets. And then down here, uh, this is where you'll put your, your snippet. So what, what I'm gonna do is come over somewhere over here. Okay, so in this other screen, and you'll have access to my other, well, not my other screen, but what's in my other screen uh, as soon as this video goes live. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in there. Now we've got our, our Docker Compose file actually for this container. Um, and then of course, if you wanted to add any notes or anything like that, you could absolutely do that down here. In fact, this can go down there like so, let's just go ahead and remove that entirely. And then we can create this snippet, give it just a second, and there we go. Now we've created our first snippet in this. Uh, you've got some options here on, on what you can do. You can delete it, you can edit it, edit it. you can copy uh, the raw URL. So if you were gonna put this on a domain name and wanted to share the, the direct URL to this snippet with somebody, you could do that right here, or you can just click on copy the code. Um, and then of course, if I do that, you're not gonna be able to see it much, but there you go. Uh, that's how easy it is to use snippet box. So if we come back over here to our home screen now, now we've got this search bar here. If we come over to snippets, uh, now you can see uh, that we've got this. We can pin uh, snippets uh, to the top, uh, it'll turn green. And if you uncheck it, it'll turn back to uh, clear. Uh, you can view, you can copy. So like, if you know that there's the code that you need is right here, you don't even have to open it. You can just click on copy code and move on with whatever it else is you're doing. So uh, very, very user-friendly. And the user-friendliness actually doesn't stop there. Uh, the install methods, there's two of them that I've got available uh, on the, the new DB Tech code snippet site uh, that's actually um, being hosted on Bookstack. But that's not the point of this video. So, uh, Let's take a look over here at uh, Portainer. You know what, let's just bring this up here. Bring that up. So here is Bookstack. And of course, like I said, you'll have access uh, to this URL uh, in the description down below. Uh, I've got a couple of, of different versions, different ways you can deploy this. Uh, there's also some additional information about what Snippet Box is. The sources where I got all of my information. Uh, so we come over here to Docker Compose, just hover over here, top right, click Copy. And uh, then uh, we'll come back over to here. We'll go into Portainer. We're gonna go to Stacks. We'll paste that in there and uh, then click Deploy the Stack. It's really just that 
easy. There is no setup. Like you, you absolutely could, uh, you know, map this wherever you need to map it. Like I said in the snippet note uh, that I showed um, over here, uh, let's view that uh, right here. You can map that wherever you want. Um, and, and whether you do it in a volume or you map it to a uh, folder on like say open media vault or whatever, um, you, you just map that and you're done. It's really just that easy. Uh, however, if you wanted to, you could uh, come back over to here and open this up, copy this, um, log in to uh, your Docker server, uh, paste that in there. Of course, edit your, your volume wherever you want that to be mapped. Uh, press go, it'll download everything, it'll deploy everything, and then you can access it on whatever port uh, you put it on right there. It's really just that easy to deploy snippet box. Uh, I think it's a very cool way to, to store snippets uh, separately for, for quick access, easy access, uh, that sort of thing. So. That's it, man. That's really it for this video. That's how easy it is. So hopefully you found the video helpful. Again, links to everything will be in the description down below. Uh, while you're down there, there are some different ways you can support the channel if you want to do that, uh, whether it's uh, becoming a channel member, subscribing. Uh, there's a, a DB tech or dbte.ch link down there that'll take you to links to all of the different stuff where you can find me. Uh, so definitely check all of that out. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.